I didn't lay Connie. I see you. Watch this. Watch this. What's happening? Back at you with another raid, understand me? Become a part of the family. Like, share, and subscribe to Don't Plan. If you in a 7 1, boy, make that bitch run. If you in a 7 2, make it do what it do. If you in a 7 3, see it slide like a G. If you in a 7 4, boy, I know how you rule. You... What's good, fam? What's going on? Today, <laughs> we raided somebody, hear me? We raided somebody. But before we get into that, first thing first, safety, 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 you hear me? Due to the pandemic, folks, make sure you practice them necessary safety precaution skills, you hear me? Like wear your mask, social distancing, wash your hands, carry some sanitizer, all that to make sure you keep you and your family safe, you hear me? Also, folks, when it comes to safety, if you're on the road just like I am, whether you're in the driver's seat, whether you're in the passenger seat, whether you're in the back seat, make sure you put on that good old safety belt, you hear me? It's very important, that good old safety belt, man. Definitely, but what's good though folks today is definitely a productive day. You hear me right now on the road as we speak On our way to Leesburg, Florida. That's right Lake County. You hear me to go raid somebody you hear me? It's crazy how this situation happened you hear me? because somebody hit me up and told me about this 72 You feel me his homeboy Phil Pryor homeboy hit me up said yo, man I want you to come raid my homeboy down here in Lake County so we scheduled a date or whatever, and that happened to be the date. You feel me? So now I'm on my way. And he don't know that I'm coming, because Phil Pryor, he spent his time on the road. You feel me? <laughs> he spent his time on the road. So today, he back in town. And his homeboy told me that he was coming back in town today, and he wanted me to raid him. So I was like, you feel me? Let's make it happen. So anyway, we on our way up there. But yeah, folks, man. Oh, like I always tell y'all, man, I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart, folks. I appreciate y'all without you guys. This channel would not be possible, you hear me? This channel would not be possible, I appreciate y'all. Also, folks, remember positivity, you hear me? That positivity goes a long way, you hear me? Positive vibes only, you feel me? And like I say, any day above ground is a beautiful day. So if it's a beautiful day, why not get out there and work on your goals and dreams, you hear me? Why not, you understand me? You gotta get out there and make it happen, folks. It's not gonna fall in your lap. You gotta put that leg forward and make it do what it do, you hear me? But yeah, folks, man, we on our way to Leesbury, so we got to focus on this road, you hear me? Um, Y'all already know, make sure you subscribe to Don't Plan It on YouTube for your chances to win a don't because we are giving a don't away once we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But it's up to you guys, the people, to help spread the word and tell everybody you know that likes don'ts about the Don't Plan It Don't Giveaway and tell them to subscribe for their chances to win a don't, you hear me? Because you got to play to win. And how do you play, you ask? Well, you got to subscribe. You got to watch the videos got to comment on videos basically folks you got to participate on the don't plan a youtube channel you understand me also folks if you're looking to stream the intro song entitled all them don'ts for you there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you to spotify where you'll be able to stream that song song is also available on youtube music apple music google play and title you hear me folks also if you're looking to purchase that merch there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you to don'tplanet.com and you'll be able to check out the merch that we have available you hear me we got shirts we got hats we got beanies we got hoodies we got all that you hear me check it out you definitely might find something you like you hear me but yeah folks we about to focus on this road you hear me we about to focus on this road y'all be safe out there folks we on our way to Leesbury to raid somebody folks y'all know the drill folks let's get up let's get out Let's be productive. Let's go! You hear me? Woo, fam. Long trip, dog. Four hours later, man, we in Leesburg. <laughs> Four hours later, man, but hey, we spoke to um, Phil Homeboy, and uh, he told us where he was gonna be, and we just so happened to be behind Phil right now, you hear me? We behind him right now, he don't know <laughs> that we about to raid him, you hear me? We behind him right now, we about to get this raid started, we about to get this party started, you hear me? Y'all ready for this? 
He right here behind him. Let's get him. You hear me? Let's raid him. Let's go. <laughs> I'm about to raid that boy. That boy don't even know it. He out here sliding in Lake County. I see you. Watch this. Watch this. Yo! Yo! What's good, dog? Hey, man, you being raided, dog. You got to pull over, dog. All right. <laughs> hey boy, I ain't gonna lie, boy. That boy sliding clean in Lake Clowney, though. The man 30s on this? That boy sitting, boy. Yes, sir. Y'all see it, man. Don't plan to raise, man. You about to raise that boy in Lake County. <laughs> hey, that boy sliding clean, though. 72 vert, yeah. Uh, yeah, we about to raid that boy, man. Stay tuned, yeah. <laughs> about to raid that boy down here, in Lake County, yeah. Lake County, you see it? Boy down here, in Lake County. What's good, dog? Good, man. Well, I see you, boy. You slide down here, boy. You already know how, you know how I do it. What's good? Chilling. I see you, dawg. What's good, though? What's good, man? You know we had to come raid you, dawg. They set you up to be raided today, dawg. Somebody hit me up, said, man, yo, you got to come raid the hardest donk in Lake County. Sure caught me off guard, bro. Yeah? Caught me off guard, bro. Where you was headed to? Sure, well, take this, take this joke back to the stores, man, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah, took it for a little spin, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, that was up. That was up, man. Um, What I was going to say, for uh, so for the people that don't know, where we at right now? Leesburg. Lake County, yeah. Lake County, that was up. So that where you from? That's where I'm from. Born and raised. Okay, okay, that was up. That was up, dog. Talk to us about the car, bro. Let us know. Uh what inspired you? What inspired you to drop a dunk? Oh man. I love dunks. Yeah. And uh, to be honest with you. When I was younger. Yeah. I know y'all had like a thing with the uh y'all talk y'all talked about the the uh, 30s and lows. Yeah. Yeah, it was big over here too. Oh yeah? It was big over here too, man. There's a lot of a lot of cats, legendary legends that had dunks over here on this side of town. Yeah. They was riding on 30s and lows, the Craigers, yeah. the Bulls. Oh, okay, so that's what inspired you to get the dunk. That inspired me big time. This your first dunk right here? Yeah, this is my first dunk. This is my first dunk. How long you had it? I had it well over two years now. Man. Yeah. Uh, I reconstructed it. It was never like this. Yeah. I reconstructed it. Had a uh, million paint. Put the gold 30s on the shots. Yeah. And I uh, got the inside done. Yeah. What made you go with 30 inch wheels on there? Man, I, I, I had to go 30, man. Uh huh. I had, I had to go 30s. I just, I had 28s at first. Yeah. I just wasn't happy with them. Oh, for real? And I said, man, you know, I got to go 30s. You weren't happy with the ace? I wasn't happy with the ace. <laughs> I, 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 it wasn't satisfying me, man. For real? It wasn't satisfying me. Damn. <laughs> you got a name for this don't? Bay. Who? Bay. Bay? Bay. <laughs> oh, that's a good name, though. You call her Bay. That's her name. Bae. Hey, y'all see her, folks? The 72 Vert go by the name of Bay. You hear me? Yeah. Bay. What made you, um, I see you went gold wheels. What made you go with the gold wheels? Um, the gold wheels. I, I, I wanted. To, I, I didn't want to go gold. Yeah. But when I saw saw them on the car, at first, I like yo. Mm -hmm. This wasn't the paint that I wanted to go with, but the paint I had in mind, it was a couple people had it. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? And uh, you know what? I'm gonna. Get yeah. I didn't want to do communion, but I went on ahead and did the communion. Mm -hmm. to, um, to compliment the gold thirties. Yeah. And uh came out came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. My idea came out pretty good. But um just a couple of people got this communion too, but it's kinda hard to stand these cars out because a lot of these cars have been perfected in so many ways now. Yeah. Kind of hard to stand it out. Yeah, what kind of motor you got in there? I got a, I got a stroker. 
stroker? 396. Yeah? yeah? We can see it or no? You can check it out. It's a little dirty up on the hill. It's a little dirty. I'll let you check it out. It's all good. Six. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, I see you. I see. You. What made you go with a seventy-two? Well, the seventy-two, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a guy. It's a guy down your way. Yeah. He, he inspired me uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already know who he is. He oh yeah. Have a seventy-two. Oh, okay, 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 you okay. You already know he has suit. That car's that suit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's why you want the 72. Right. Okay, and then uh you got you got music in that too? Yes, yeah. What you got like uh I got I got four mats. You got the music like like design in the trunk or you got the uh nice. oh, okay. Not yet. Okay, 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 okay. Still in the process of still working on. Yeah. She look good though. When I go on the road, yeah. you know, I drive trucks. Yeah. So when I go on the road, it goes in the shop. It goes in the shop. You get some old little minor things done too. Okay, okay. And what made you go with that color interior? I love that. I love this interior. Yeah. I love it. Man. I, I, I went with it. Yeah. That was up. I see you uh with the interior, like you kind of stay like with the OGs pattern a little bit. Like what you think about the whole the futuristic stuff? Futuristic, in, futuristic interior. My opinion with futuristic, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm 39 years old. Yeah. And I can't really do the futuristic because it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna look right. Man. Yeah. And uh, um, I just can't do the futuristic. I like the OG, the OG look, with a little bit of modern look to it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. That was up. Uh, respect that. Respect that. Um, what do you think about the don't game today? Oh man. What do you currently think about it? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's and it's making it, it'll make it's making it hard for anybody else that's trying to get a dunk. Mm -hmm. It's making it hard for them. Yeah. And uh, you know, when they come out, they want to do the same thing the next man doing. Yeah. But my my opinion, you know, these dunks they can put you in the pole house. In pole house. Oh, for the people that don't know what that means, what that mean? You can go broke. You can go broke. <laughs> you can go broke. You can go broke, man. Yeah. I'm trying to fix these cars. Up. Yeah. What do you think about the pricing on dunks these days? Like, do you think like like with the pricing on dunks? Like, like I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's a lot of people selling dunks out here, and they selling for high prices. You think the price is worth it, or you think they just like trying to rob people? Man, I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah. I'll say maybe back in 06, mm -hmm. 05, these cars were going for like 1500 Yeah. Back in those days. Yeah. You can get a car like 1500 to $2,500. $2, yeah. And you ride. Yeah. Nowadays, you know, it's the very same car. They want $32,000, $40,000. Fixed 000. up or stock? 32,000 stock. Stock. Original. Woo. Original. Crazy. And Crazy. And you can get one fixed up. They want 65,000 for it. Or 74,000. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's got an LS in there with a turbo, whatever you, whatever you're going with it. Yeah. You got the whole nine in there, but it's ridiculous, man. I mean, it's a lot of money, man. It Everybody is. Everybody can't afford a dump. Exactly. Everybody can't afford a dump. Yeah. You ain't lying, though. You ain't lying. What you think about, you think of, for example, like one of the things that go on these days is like everybody trying to make it seem, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but people these days make it seem like if you got a don't, you got to go frame off. Like, how you feel about that? Do you think it's mandatory? I don't, I don't think going frame off is necessary. That's yeah. That's just something people chose to do. Yeah. And you know, and, it, and, it, and it's not nothing new. It's yeah. not nothing new. Because yeah. you look at the low riders, yeah. they been started to yeah. frame off, paint the frame, and you know, putting the designs on the frame and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's old school. That's, yeah. no, that's nothing new. 
that, that's something that's already been started. Yeah. Years ago, you know what I'm saying? So, to me, for the frame off, it's either you want to do it or you don't want to do it. Yeah. You really got to do a frame off. If the frame, the car is really rusted out really bad, yeah. you could do a frame off. Yeah. But if the car is in good shape, I don't think, I don't think there's no need to do a frame off. Yeah, definitely. That's my opinion. Definitely, I understand. I understand. And um, as far as like the don't game these days, like competition and the people competing in the don't game, what do you think about that? Uh, competition. Like people competing with each other. Like somebody feel like, oh, you feel me? He got he got twenty folds. Man, I'm finna get sixes. You know, people just be competing these days. Like, you, what you think about that? You think like that's necessary or? I don't think it's necessary. I think. I don't think you necessarily got to compete. I mean, a dunk is, to me, uh, I mean, over here especially, yeah. a dunk is everything. I yeah. don't think you got to compete. Yeah. Once you got a dunk, there's no need for no competition, man. Exactly. Me. There's no need for competition. And plus, you know, you do whatever you want to do with your dunk. Exactly. If you want to do 24, 26, yeah. I don't feel like you should go competition with somebody. Yeah. I ain't going competition. I don't, there's no need. I don't need to go competition. I like what I like. Exactly. And if the person don't like it, then, hey, I ain't going to competition with you. <laughs> that was up. That was up. I respect that, though. You feel me? You like what you like, and they like what they like. That's why at the same time, at the same time, I always stress, like, you feel me? Like, you ain't got to like what somebody did to their car. They ain't got to like the fact you put 30s on your car, but you just got to respect it because you got to respect the bill. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel me? Like, it ain't easy to do this. Right. You understand me? So, uh, with the don't game as well, like, for example, like, a lot of people in the don't game, including myself, go through these things we call don't horse horror stories, which is, like, bad experiences, like, you know, with a, probably with a shop or, uh, you feel me, a bad experience, like, you might have been driving and you, something happened or whatever with the don't or whatever. You got any don't horror stories for us? I got one when it comes to shops. Yeah, well, well, tell us about it, man. Tell us about that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, come on, man. Look, shops. Yeah. Them shops, them shops crazy, man. Mm -hmm. they, they be losing. Man. Yeah. They, I, I had so many run-ins with different shops. Yeah. I get, get my bill or whatever. My car. Yeah. They try to screw you over. You come get to pick up your car. You got parts gone from the car. Yeah. Like, man, I got the one shop I, I went to. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say no names. Yeah, you ain't going to say no names. I ain't going to put them out there. It's all but, good. I came and got my car. A lot of parts were gone. And uh, I just had to, re I had to just buy everything back. You know? Yeah. Just get everything back. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just too much sometimes, man. Shops. Too much. I, I think when it comes to the shop, I think they don't have to be, you know, overpriced. Yeah. Especially things that you really know for yourself that don't really cost a whole lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't know that for yourself. Yeah. They want to take the price of them. They charge you an arm and leg for it. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to shops, it's, it's crazy. It's definitely crazy with these shops, bro. You know, I got so I got some don't call stories too, man. Hey. We all crazy. Do. We all, everybody in the don't game do like, it's very rare for you to find somebody that don't have a don't call story, though. It's crazy. It's crazy though. Well, what is one thing you would change about the don't game? Um, what I would change about it. Yeah. With, with, with whatever that's going on. It, it, it doesn't have to be anything about your car. Like, well, what's going on in the game, period? The price. Uh huh. The price of the car. Yeah. That's what I would change. Mm -hmm. The price. Because it's ridiculous, man. Mm -hmm. It's like. Uh, like royalty around this world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I understand. It's cool. Yeah. They're legendary cars. Yeah. But it's a little, it's a little too overrated. Yeah. That's my opinion. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Man. I feel you on that. But yeah, man, we had to come to Leesburg, man. We had to come up here and raise you, bro. We see it's about the rain. We about to let you go ahead and get out of here, man. But we appreciate you doing this raid with us, bro. I, I know I caught you off guard. I stopped you from doing what you had to go do, though. So I'm going to let you get on your way. It's about the rain out here, bro. It's cool. 
appreciate you sliding through, man. No, oh, man, no problem, bro. Anytime, bro. We had to come through. We had to come get you, dog. We, somebody hit us up and told us to come raid you, dog. They told you you was going to be down here today. So we're like, man, we got to go get that boy. You feel me? Yeah. I appreciate you a lot, bro. Appreciate you, dog. I'm going to have to come your way eventually. Oh, yeah? Or if you start another... Uh, dunk dunk day. day, man. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. Dunk Day, this shit got ruined, bro. It got ruined because, you know, the whole, uh, what, the, the pandemic, you know what I mean? But right. it's all good, dog. Next year, hopefully, it's hopefully this pandemic stuff in. And Dunk Day, definitely Dunk Day 2021, man. You feel me? Yeah, man. I definitely, we, we definitely would love to see her down there at Miami for Dunk Day, bro. Paper, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I appreciate you too, bro. Appreciate you, bro. All right, bro, we gonna go around the car real quick. All right. Folks, y'all see it, man. Folks, y'all see it. You hear me? Y'all see it, folks, down here in Leesburg, you hear me? Lake County. Boy, down here sitting. But hey, folks, I'm about to tune out with y'all, man, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm low on memory. I'm low on memory. So until next time, folks, keep it locked right here. Don't plan it. Raids, you hear me? <laughs>